Hey guys, it's Clicks here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my editing and OBS settings. Now before the video begins, I just wanted to say that according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos actually subscribe, so if you want to help me out, do me a favor and turn that red subscribe button grey as well as like the video. With that being said, let's get on to the settings. Alright you guys, you can see we're in OBS uh, right now, and I'm just going to be showing you guys the basic settings. Now, before I say anything else, I just want to say that there's a Discord server I'd highly recommend you guys join. I've mentioned it in previous videos, and it pretty much shows you all these settings. If you don't want to watch this video, you can just pretty much look in there. And it also has uh, settings for Sony Vegas, which I know a lot of people use. I don't use Sony Vegas anymore, that's why I'm making this updated tutorial. Uh, but if you guys want Sony Vegas settings, uh, make sure to join the Discord server, they have some great settings there. Now you guys want to hit the settings button right here and it'll bring up this. Make sure you guys go to output and recording. And here's all my things. Uh, pretty much you really, really want to select CQP uh, right here uh, because this is pretty much like the best uh, rate control and it gives you probably the cleanest, uh, in my opinion, uh, the cleanest video. Now the level here, uh, the server explains it a bit, but depending on the performance and if you're not getting uh, that good performance and your frames are dropping, make sure to turn this like up. Don't rec I don't recommend going over 20 or you start losing quality and don't go below 15 because there's no real benefit to it. Key frame interval zero pr uh, preset and max performance is what I use. I don't know, it just works. Uh, profile high, turn these both off and make sure these are both zero. All right, next we can move on to the audio. The audio is pretty simple right here. Uh, set this to 48 or the max that you have right here. Stereo and make sure you set up all your audio. I've got my microphone here as well as my desktop audio right there. Make sure you turn this on. Uh, I don't know, that's just what I have on. Um, and it seems to work. I think I had a few problems with this. If you have problems, just turn it off and play around with it. And yeah, you can just copy the rest of these settings. All of these are just off because I don't really use any of these. And now here's the most important part, the video settings right here, guys. And this is the pretty much the way you're gonna be getting the smooth uh, settings and getting that nice motion blur effect that you can see on my videos. So what you're gonna be doing is setting this to your uh, resolute, both of these to your, the resolution of your monitor. And this down to bilinear because it doesn't really make a difference and is, uh, as you can see, blurry if scaling. We're not going to be scaling, so it's just the best performance for us. Uh, now you're going to set this to fractional FPS value and set this to whatever you want the FPS to be. So if you're getting around, say, in your game, around 300 and like 60 FPS, for example, you'd set this to like maybe a bit below that, maybe 300. Uh, and make sure you do it uh, in, six, uh, in like 60s or 30s. Uh, if you don't do this when scaling down, it will look weird and you're going to have like half frames. It's going to be really weird. So just stick in 60s. You can see this is 4 times 60 right here. And it's 240. I can get way higher FPS in my games, but it may start to lag out your computer if you go too high. So I just set it at 240 because it's pretty easy. Now hotkeys, uh, you can see I've got my start and stop recording buttons right here, whatever you want. You can pretty much customize these to whatever you want and they're not really important for the video. And here in advanced uh, process priority, I put this below normal because for some reason it just works. But if you're having issues, uh, play around with this. Uh, now, if depending on your OBS version, uh, uh, the color space really matters. Uh, if you have the version that I have right here, which is 26.1.1, uh, which is probably the best I would recommend because it's not too old, but also not the newest one. Uh, the newest one does have a few bugs, so I'd recommend if you're having any troubles, uh, downgrade to a lower version. But uh, if you have this version, you can choose sRGB and make sure the color range is full. And this will give you the best colors. Uh, if you don't have this version, then the Discord server I talked about pretty much shows you uh, how to get good colors using the other settings. Uh, everything else I haven't really touched, everything else isn't really important. And once you've done all this, you can pretty much just hit apply and you'll be done. Also guys, one quick thing I would like to mention, you can see I've got this preview here. Um, and it's not really affecting uh, my settings or anything up here, but if you are having trouble, I recommend clicking this and hitting, uh, di like, and disabling the preview, and you're just going to get better performance. I kind of forgot to do that for the start of this video, but yeah, it's another thing to mention. Now, hopping on into Premiere Pro, you can see, uh, I, these are some of my videos before, but if we're going to go to this one, this is my newest, uh, Cool Capes video. Uh, this is just one of the videos I have, and yeah, I actually quite like this video. If you guys haven't seen it, rec I recommend checking it out. I'll probably leave it in the description. Uh, with the, all that kind of self-promo aside, let's get right into how you can uh, render. Now for this, I don't believe I used a 240 FPS video, but I can still show you how I did it. Pretty much when you go in, it's going to be really laggy for a high FPS video. But what you guys are going to do is you guys are pretty much going to find your media in here. Uh, for example, I believe it's this one. 
and you're gonna pretty much go to it uh right click and go down to proxy and create proxy and then it'll only take about like five minutes uh, depending on like the time of the video of course but it won't take too long and it will pretty much uh turn your video just in this preview window to 60 fps and low quality so it's just easy to edit and then of course when you render it will turn it back to the normal version and you can just uh render in peace but yeah, it's a really good tip uh, and you'll press this button to enable it or disable it. And yeah, it's just really useful when uh, editing with high FPS video. Radio, so this is another important part. So we're gonna go to file and export and I'm gonna be showing you guys my render settings for Premiere Pro. So right here, format H.264. Uh, you can output, name it, whatever you want, and make sure this is just high bitrate. Now, right here, you can see frame rate. This was 60, right? And make sure, even if you have a 240 FPS video, set this to 60 FPS or whatever you want. I would recommend 60 because what we're going to be doing is blurring the frames um, into 60 FPS. So it will play at 60 FPS on YouTube, except it will have that nice motion blur. Uh, this will be whatever your video is and all that's fine. And make sure you tick render at maximum depth. Uh, encoding settings, I use hardware encoding just because it's way faster than software encoding. And yeah, it's just way easier. You do lose a little bit of uh, quality because you can't do um, one of these settings. Uh, you can't do VBR2 pass on it, I don't believe, but uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, speaking of uh, the uh, bitrate settings right here in VBR, you're going to be using this over CBR. It's just way better. And I use one pass, it's just faster, and I set this to 30. It's kind of excessive, but it's just way easier, and it doesn't really take too much longer. Uh, and then everything else you can leave away, because we don't have a VR video or any of this stuff we don't need to worry about. And here, make sure you use render at maximum quality, uh, this button right here, uh, and disable use proxies and use previews, because as we said, we want, don't want our proxy, we don't want that low quality video, we just want our normal video right here. And then you can keep these whatever and then this right here time interpolation is probably one of the most important settings so we're going to be changing this to frame blending and what it's going to do is it's going to blend the frames from the 240 or 360 whatever the high fps video all the way down to 60 and it'll create the motion blur uh it'll give you an estimated file size right here this is a decently big video with all these settings all these edits so it's around 700 megabytes which isn't too bad uh and it'll just kind of show you an estimate uh and then you can just hit export and it'll be done Anyway guys, uh, that was how uh, you can create smooth motion blur and have some really cool settings for your Minecraft videos. So I hope that helped guys. Uh, I know a lot of people really want to know how I get the motion blur in my videos and how my videos look so good. So I thought I would just show you guys. I did used to, I did make a video uh, like this uh, in the past, but it was outdated and it was my Vegas settings, which weren't actually the best. And I was using some really dumb methods. Uh, so hopefully this cleared this up. Anyways, I hope this uh, cleared everything up if you guys haven't seen that video. And of course, if you do use any other software or need help, make sure to join the Render Settings Discord that I linked in the description. It's great. Some great people uh, who've helped me with a lot of my problems. And yeah. Anyway, okay, guys, that was it uh, for this uh, little tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, I'm more alive for my Jake shit. And I'm getting tired of all the things that I want to see. My family want to see my friends have been slept on, like my name says. And I'm pretty far from being famous, but I sure as hell ain't nameless. I just take in my aim. And I let it fly like a